Hello everyone! It is with great pleasure that I bring to you a demonstration of Open Morrowind version 0.14. This makes three releases within two months and a lot of progress, so let's get right into it. I want to go over a few bug fixes first. Previously, you may have noticed that certain meshes were being rendered with the wrong orientation. That problem has been dealt with so that all structures should now be rendered correctly. If you tried to pick anything up off, say, a bookcase in the past, you know that it didn't always work very well. Activation for small objects has been vastly improved. You can try it out for yourself, it's a lot of fun. If you watched my last video, you saw that wireframe rendering was applying itself to the console window as well as any other visible parts of the user interface. That doesn't happen anymore. Okay, moving on to new features. I'll start off with the most obvious. We finally have terrain. There will be no more floating towns or rock formations in this project. On top of that, we have water now too. I think that most of us would agree it looks a lot nicer than Morrowind's original water, showing already that Open Morrowind will greatly surpass the original engine. For performance reasons, you can change what parts of the world get reflections via a simple configuration file, but there will eventually be a graphical interface for changing those kinds of settings. This version also brings us shadow casting, which is something else the original game was lacking. Unfortunately, it only works on Nvidia cards at the moment, but that will change in the future. I think you'll all be happy to know that we have clothing and armor rendering now, along with auto-equipping, so our NPCs finally dress themselves. That's much better. We have the local map working now too. You might have noticed that the mini-map in the bottom right is also working, complete with the compass pointer. We have window pinning now as well, which means you can force certain user interface windows to stay open, even when we close the others. I found this feature particularly exciting because I honestly had no idea you could do this in the original game. This release isn't entirely about looks though. Factions are now functional, so you can join your guild of choice and take quests from them. You might not get very far though, as the inability to kill anything at this point sort of breaks uh, a lot of Morrowind's quests. As always, there's a lot of behind-the-scenes technical stuff that you can do some digging of your own to find out more about. There are plenty of other features coming soon to hold your attention though, including terrain collision, journal improvements, the ability to load multiple ESMs and ESPs, along with much, much more. So keep an eye out for future updates. For now though, I have one more thing to show you, path grid rendering. I'm telling you, if you haven't played through the main quest yet with path grid rendering on in wireframe mode, you're missing out. 